We're going to move back into the Christian crisis that we are, that is unfolding right now. We talked about how the law is about to start coming against Christians, but we also have another attack against us. Our own churches are being subverted by culture. Pastors, anybody who, who can influence a pastor, you have got to, you've got to arm your congregation with the Word of God to know the difference, to know what is right, to know what is morally correct and what is morally corrupt. Because culture is trying to sway the church. Culture is trying to subvert the church. And pastors are falling for the deception. A profane pastor welcomes open homosexuals, admits he doesn't care what the Bible says. He doesn't care what Scripture says. He's just going to be open to homosexuals. A profanity-speaking preacher who has lost hundreds in his congregation over his decision to allow open homosexuals to serve in leadership positions, and who says he doesn't care what the Bible says uh, on the issue, is featured in a new online video that has received over a million views in less than a week. Ryan Meeks is the founder of Eastlake Community Church in Bothell, Washington, which identifies itself as an inclusive Christian community where faith is less about a story to be believed as it is about a life to be lived. The subversion of our church. The wolf in sheep's clothing. They're coming out. In 2015, Meeks announced that he believed a move of the Spirit caused him to rethink how he had handled the issue of homosexuality. In the April 8th video released by Upworthy, Meeks, amid clips of profanity usage, noted that he used... To, uh, used to shy away from the topic. When it came to the co- conversation around the LGBT community and church policy, or what does the Bible say about homosexuality, I always felt awkward about it. I didn't want to bring it up, he explained. I felt like I needed to scare people into believing the right thing because the God who loves them is going to send most of human history to hell, Meek said. That's the good news? Sounds pretty explicit, because he cursed. Or he cussed, excuse me. The way is narrow. The way is narrow. That does actually mean that a lot of human history is probably going to go to hell. Righteousness, love, and judgment in perfect balance. And of course, with righteous anger. One look at the Old Testament and we can understand his righteous anger. We can also understand how beautiful his righteous forgiveness is. His mercy. Countless times he forgave the Israelites. Countless times he's forgiven you. His own son died on a cross for you and for me, but for you. So you could have a chance at eternal life. And he rose. He lives. We are under attack. The mainstream media is getting desperate. The old media is dying. And they're not going anywhere without a fight. We must weather the storm. We have something they don't. You. We need your help. Become a member of the Christian Truther for $1.50 per month. Using the discount code in the description to support us in this fight. And get access to all of our unlimited content. God bless you and thank you. <laughs>